and we were looking at applying substitution. And if you guys remember substitution, we are solving for a variable. And once we solve for the variable, we plug that variable back in. Now, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding and subtracting the equations to eliminate a variable. So we can call this the addition method or um, the elimination method. But basically what we're going to be doing is adding and subtract or subtracting. You're going to want to do one operation or the other, the two equations. Now, how to determine do you add or subtract the equations? Well, you add or subtract the equations depending on how you want to eliminate your equate, what variable you want to eliminate. And so this is a great example of you guys, if you guys look at this, we can only apply the elimination or uh, elimination method is when our variables have the same coefficient. That means the number in front is exactly the same. And you guys can see the x's both have the positive number 1 over 1, right? We'll, we'll talk about those in a second. Um, so when they have the exact same, we can either add or subtract. But if you guys notice, if I add these two equations, then I'm going to get 2x. Well, that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to eliminate one of them. By eliminate, I mean get it to 0. So in this case, if I wanted to eliminate the x's, I would subtract my two equations, correct? Now, however, though, if you guys look at this, I also notice that the y's also have a coefficient of 1. They have a coefficient of positive 1 and negative 1. But the value 1 is still the same. So if I add my two equations, we're still going to get 2x, which is, does not eliminate the x variable. But now I have 1y plus negative 1y, which is going to give us 0y equals 4. And then what is 0 times y? 0. So a lot of students say, oh, you know, it cancels out. There's really nothing that cancels it out. It just goes to 0. And 2x plus 0 is just going to be written as 2x. So now I can solve for x, which I divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 2. So now that I know what the value of x is, just like we did with substitution, I take the value of x and I plug it back into, an, into my original equation. And now I can solve for y. So I subtract 2, subtract 2, y equals negative 1. Now, by, uh, by adding the two equations, I eliminated the y because notice, they had the same coefficient, but one was positive, one was negative. So when you're adding equations, you eliminate the variable when they have exactly the same, and one's positive and one's negative. All right. So when you're looking to doing this elimination, that's what you're going to want to look for. You're going to want to look for having the same coefficient, one positive, one negative, to add them. Then you add, eliminate, solve, plug it into the other equation, solve. So therefore, the coordinate point where these two um, lines intersect is going to be 2, negative 1. Anybody have any questions about that?